Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Who are your shields, nestle, search, pests, and passes, minions, meat sacks? I'm a useful idiot. Welcome. And uh, let's see, where are we going today? Oh, yeah, we're going all over the Middle East because we're going to talk about ISIS. And this is a, another video and a little uh, series I'm doing uh, involving numbers. And there are various topics, but they have, have to do with numbers and uh, what they can say, right, what, they, uh, 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 what they hide, and uh, what they mean. You know, and in this case, is a perfect example of uh, of numbers that uh, put a face on uh, something uh, that's all over the media, and, and there's still a lot of mystery of, about the group ISIS. And uh, the question came up uh, recently. I did a video, I think, about a year ago, about speculations about how many fighters ISIS had. And at the time, uh, the CIA, of course, was talking about three or four or five thousand or whatever when it first started. Uh, and that's how many uh, defeated it. Iraqi army of 42,000 or something in, in Mosul. And the numbers were quoted quite low. And the, but even back then, there were some who suggested that uh, there was as many as 100,000 uh, ISIS fighters. So here we are, uh, well over a year uh, into this uh, conflict and uh, this, uh, this ISIS uh, phenomenon. And uh, it came up again because I came across uh, this uh, Patrick Coburn, uh, an article recently, and I'll attach it below. He's an uh, expert on ISIS and wrote a book on it. And uh, he, he talks about the fact that uh, they have uh, at least 100,000 fighters and, and some say 200,000 fighters. So I thought, hey, you know, man, that's, that's really getting high up there. I, I want to look into this again, see if, if they have any uh, information on it. And sure enough, I came across a good article that I'll attach below. Um, but it, it still t talks about uh, the fact that uh, the, the, the actual number could be between 100 and 200,000. And one of those reasons is because they have 8 million people under their control right now. And um, so uh, let's get, um, I'm going to use kind of the format that's used in the article because it brings up three uh, good points right off the bat of how we should look at uh, figuring out how many fighters ISIS has. Uh, what would be considered part of ISIS, what is the amount of territory they cover, and what is the estimated uh, attrition, or how many uh, casualties ISIS is suffering. And uh, through using that methodology, which I, I think sounds pretty sound, uh, the conclusion is that the high end of the, the numbers that are thrown around are the ones that would be likely. And, uh, that's why we're talking about uh, between 100,000 and 200,000. Uh, they have 2,250,000 people under their control in Syria and another 4 million uh, under their control in Iraq. So we have uh, something over 6 million, 6 to 8 million people under ISIS control. And uh, let's remember that they have set up this caliphate, the state, and it has to be maintained. Uh, the state has to be maintained. They've created a bureaucracy. Uh, they have to defend the ground that they've already taken taken and they have to launch these offenses all over Iraq, both north and south and all over Syria, north and south, and then uh, excursions into uh, new new theaters of operation. And, uh, and then uh, one of the uh, important points um, that fleshes out these numbers, and I think this is a reliable uh, theory, and that's the fact that they're conscripting, they're drafting um, people from all over this region they control. So thinking about uh, all these different uh, levels and hierarchies that they have they've created um, and in fact uh, this article mentions the fact that uh, the the 200,000 figure that they come up with includes uh, multiple categories uh, support personnel uh, police and security uh, local militias uh, bodyguards various paramilitary groups uh, draftees and uh, trainees and, uh, and that the actual number of uh, foreign fighters includes uh, regular forces, so-called death squads, and elite paramilitary groups. And uh, that's an interesting structure they bring up when they talk about uh, those three groups because, first of all, I'm not really sure what the difference between <laughs> would be between their regular forces, their elite paramilitary, and having separate death squads. Uh, it seems like they could all pretty much function as death squads from what we've seen. Um, and then interesting that they have an elite paramilitary, which suggests, uh, once again, that the, the possibility that we have uh, foreign bad actors who are running things uh, with ISIS increases if you have a core elite 
paramilitary who are uh, directing things, controlling these regular forces, these conscripts and these, and these death squads. Because let's remember, to control the snake, you only have to control the head. So uh, interesting structure there. And um, a lot of these speculation about these numbers uh, comes from multiple sources, and the numbers keep going up, and they're all over the map. Um, as a Georgetown University professor of security studies um, that I've been citing, uh, he talks about a CNN report uh, uh, the U.S. intelligence put the, the number of fighters at nine to 18,000, which, of course, is ridiculously low. And then in 2014, the CIA was uh, talking about 20 or 30,000 fighters, and that seemed like a lot at the time. And, and one of my theories is the reason why we're not hearing the high numbers is, on the one hand, you'd think the CIA would want us to know that there was that many ISIS out there uh, to bolster their claim that we're going to be there for decades. But on the other hand, uh, they probably don't want anyone to know the true scope of, of what uh, U.S. foreign policy is dealing with now, um, because when you get up into these higher range, it, it is a daunting task to think about uh, doing anything about it, really, with these ineffective forces in the region and only airstrikes. So uh, so to get back to it, then the, uh, to up the ante a little more, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said that there was 50,000 uh, ISIS in Syria alone so once again, that would bolster the idea that there could be between uh, 50, 60, 70, 80, uh, 90, 100,000, uh, easily 100,000 uh, ISIS in total between Syria and Iraq. Uh, Russian experts put the total at 70,000. Um, in August of 2014, a Baghdad security expert suggested that there was 100,000. And uh, it's a Kurdish official who uh, put the number at 200,000. But uh, the uh, uh, Georgetown... Uh, University professor who is cited below if you want to find out who he is and what he has to say. Um, he is the one also that brought up the uh, 200,000 figure if you, if you uh, speculate and uh, uh, analyze uh, ISIS uh, by uh, basically the entire parameter of ISIS supporters, uh, including all the people they need for their infrastructure and their, their caliphate, running their caliphate. And uh, so for the, for the uh, final part of that, so now we kind of know what parts of ISIS we need to count. And I've talked about that. We've talked about uh, what is the amount of territory involved um, and the fact that they're able to control that large amount of territory, uh, that large population. They really haven't suffered any losses, per se, and are still on the offense. And that's the other part of the quotient, because they're launching offenses uh, all over in Iraq and um, Syria. And uh, they are still uh, winning in the battlefield. And um, even though they haven't claimed large swaths of territory lately, uh, they're still holding on to most of what they have. Uh, it turns out the uh, famed uh, assault of Mosul that the Iraqis and U.S. let out of the bag a few weeks back or a month back, apparently that's going to be put off. So Mosul will remain in ISIS hands. And... Uh, so let's get to attrition. So uh, according to CENTCOM, U.S. CENTCOM, um, 6,000 ISIS have been killed in airstrikes alone um, between August and February. So in six months, so that's 1,000 a month. And then you factor in uh, all the other uh, ground uh, deaths uh, in Iraq and Syria, and we get rough tallies of those from the Syrian Observatory and other sources. And uh, so then, uh, as this article points out, you have to ask the question, does it seem, is, uh, has ISIS lost 25 to 30 percent of its force? It looks doubtful um, um, through, these, through these airstrikes. Or uh, does it seem more likely that they've lost 10 percent? And it seems like they've lost uh, more like 10 percent. So using uh, the math and those kind of uh, body counts um, and loss of, uh, uh, percentage of loss of force and still how effective ISIS is in the field. Of course, uh, one would have to assume that the numbers are indeed up, upwards of 100, uh, uh, between 100 and 200,000. Seems fairly likely. And we also know that, of course, foreigners have been streaming in there uh, constantly, and they're continuing to draft uh, more and more people in, within their territory. And, uh, and one of my theories is that we'll find more and more of these uh, al-Qaeda groups um, dissolve and, and absorb into ISIS. And um, it could very well be that uh, down the road, Al-Qaeda um, will not really be 
functioning as, as we know it, even though it never really was. Um, and ISIS is a new kid in town. So anyway, here you have it, some more uh, ruminations and speculations and analysis about how many fighters does ISIS have. And uh, boy, if they have that many, uh, we are going to be, oh, when I say we, um, the United States and its uh, partners, its coalition will be in uh, Iraq and Syria for a very long time. I'm a useful idiot, don't you be one too?